in this video i am going to talk about wp paginate plugin and it has 40000 active installations as of now hi my name is pankaj and i am a wordpress developer from creative pro a lot of time there are more pages and posts but there is no pagination to navigate to different pages and pagination is also important from seo point of view because if you have more links to internal pages of your website then the link juice gets distributed evenly and each page can get a chance to rank on google so let's start with the wp paginate plugin i am on the plugin installation page and i'll activate it let's come to the settings and uh, first of all i see the pagination label it is the text which will appear on the pagination let's keep it pages for now previous next i can change from pre or next i am just making these all then uh, we can display it everywhere or on specific pages like home page blog page search page let's go with all the pages and uh, i can also position it as function only meaning i will use a function or short code and only then it will appear or i can just say below the content it's best for most sites and let me also make this clear 99% of wordpress websites don't need this plugin theme already comes with pagination feature and there are times when you have old themes and you don't have pagination in those cases it is very useful so let's go with below the content and let's keep it all same for now if i come to home page then i see that everything is same nothing changed so let's come to reading page let's start with one so what this does is if i have more than one post it will show pagination so this is where you control the settings that how many post you want to show before pagination uh, let's go with one and add a new post let's publish this and now you will see that as soon as i hit refresh i get two pagination so this one is coming from our plugin wp paginate and this is default from my theme so which theme i am using i am using extra child theme what is child theme why should you use it it's discussion for another video so let me come to settings let's remove this first so this is the default navigation coming from theme you can see it works fine but let's just say that you need this one then let's hide the standard coming from the theme so this is how it will look now i can change all parameters like my site let's make it this one so it will show my site and once i come to the second it will show previous i can change previous to back it works see here then i have options for pagination font maybe i can change font here uh, different styles let's go with this one and see you see different colors and i can also change colors from here i have an option for custom css codes that's very nice then let's come to this one so this is where it shows which html tag will contain this for example if i inspect this one you will see that it's in a div class navigation that's what it's showing here i can maybe add another class like creative pro save it refresh and you will see the creative pro class here it's for css styling and the same goes with here this option is for showing before markup or after markup even if page list is empty so we can hide this one uh, css file should be included if custom css is being used and uh, trailing slash is not needed page range and all you can just play with different settings but defaults are better because it's recommended from the developer then let's come to the custom css i can activate it here or deactivate it here and make changes like let's come to this one current page background is this i can just copy it here paste here and change background mm, let's go with black if i refresh this you will see that everything is black 
so it doesn't look good so let's go with gray it looks normal so i can keep this code safe here and just deactivate the code and it will be normal and upgrade to pro i don't think this is needed for most sites this basic feature and some custom css is all you need now that the tutorial is over i have a question for you do you want to make your website look unique and convert more visitors then you should hear this out after working with wordpress websites for last 10 years we have built a checklist of 51 customizations that you can do on your site and make it look unique it also includes codes that you can apply on your site and if you want to download it then just go to creativepro.com click on free ebooks and enter your name and email address we will email it to you thank you and see you in my next video